All right. In this lesson, we are going to have fun with isometric cubes. I love messing around with isometric cubes and seeing what we can come up with. So let's go into CAD. All right, so we will begin by drawing an isometric cube. And if you remember, uh, isometric drawings, all of the vertical lines are vertical and all of the horizontal lines are drawn at 30 degree angles. So let's start with a vertical line. We'll go into orthographic mode and let's make this line 20 inches long and that is small. Well, we just need to zoom in. So we've got this line that's 20 inches long and let's go ahead and make our horizontal line, which is gonna be 20 inches long. And we hit tab and we're gonna do that at a 30 degree angle and hit escape. So there's our first horizontal 30 degree angle. Then we are going to do one that's 20 degrees. And remember we need 180 degrees minus 30, which is 150 degrees. And there is our second horizontal angle. Um, now, all we have to do is copy some things. So if I right click this, and hit copy. I'll grab it at the point where I want to copy and I copy it. Same thing we'll do on this side. I will right click, I'll hit copy, I'll select the point where I want to copy it and I'll put it here and I'll put it right there and hit escape. So you can see we're starting to get our cube. Let's go ahead and copy this one and put her there. And all we have to do is copy our vertical ones. So copy this vertical, snatch it there, put it there, and put it there. And now we've got a isometric cube. And we can just, you know, experiment with this cube, play around with this cube, maybe change some things. Um, so let's go ahead and just copy the cube. And maybe we want to turn this cube into a box, like an open box. Well, how could I do that? Well, if the box was open, you'd be able to see that corner in the back, so I could just grab a line and connect a line down there. And now it looks like I've got an open box. Uh, maybe the box fell over on its side. So again, I could just copy this and this time we'll do the line from here to there. And so again, we've got a box, we've got it on its side, uh, maybe a little bit of imagination. So I wanna show you something called hatching. And while I do that, I will copy this box one more time. And I've, I've kind of talked about hatching a little bit, but let's go ahead. Right up here in the ribbon, there is this symbol right here. And if you hover over that symbol, it says hatch. And basically what we can do is we can enclose these sides in different shapes or colors. So I will click on hatch and I can choose a solid or I can choose different um, patterns. We'll just, we'll keep it easy. We'll just we'll go with a solid and I can also select 
a color. I have a color pattern here. So let's try, um, we'll try a dark gray. So I'll hit that with dark gray and I have to hit escape to be able to select a different color. So we'll go to hatch. This time we'll choose a new color and maybe it'll be just a little bit lighter gray and I'll select the area and I'll do this one more time. And I will select a new color, which is an even lighter gray. And there you go. So I've got all these different colors, which you know gives this cube a whole lot more depth. Well, if we um, select the same colors here, we can hatch. And I've got this color here, which is a hat for the top. Um, and let me hatch that top. And we will uh, try this color. That was a side. Well, we've got that side right there. And we have that same side right there. We can do that. And we'll hatch one more time and we'll go back to that darker color. And that was for this side. And there you go. Now, if we want to give the box a little more depth, we can create a little, little bit more shadowing here. So, let's go back and hatch some more. We got that uh, lighter color and we'll put that one on the bottom. And we've got that middle color. And we'll put that right there. Well, that was not the middle color. Let's change that to there. Okay. So anyway, you can use a hatching. It gives your boxes a little bit more depth Again. There are other things we can do with these boxes. Of course, we can we can choose more colorful colors. But you know, what if I take the same box again and I do a little bit of trimming. Actually, I can't trim because nothing actually intersects, so I can just delete. Well, now my isometric cube turned into a hexagon. A hexagon is a shape that has six equal sides, six equal angles. So did you know that an isometric cube is actually a hexagon? So there's just all sorts of things we can do. We can change, we can manipulate uh, these boxes. Um, let's see, what if we took that same box? We'll copy it some more. And maybe we'll come down a little bit more. Come down a little bit more. And now maybe we will do some trimming because we've got intersecting lines here. So what if I took those three boxes that were stacked and I did a little bit of trimming? Hmm. Now I've got three boxes that are stacked on each other. Well, what if I took those, I copied them. Come over here and we'll copy that. And maybe I will, um, now I'm gonna have to get off of ortho. So let's get off of ortho. And what if I, 
you know, I guess if I want to align these, I'm going to need a little guideline. So let's make a guideline. I go from here, here, and I extend it. That's my 30 degrees. Okay. And so let me take that and copy it again. And what if I go there? Oh, it snapped on me. I don't want to snap. Oh, snap. So let me turn the snaps off. That's not. We'll take this here. We will copy this selection. And now if I put it here and I put it here, I'll get rid of this guideline and maybe I'll do a little more trimming. Boy, that's really, that's really confusing, isn't it? But hey, bear with it. I think we need to get rid of that. Uh, it doesn't intersect, so anything that doesn't intersect, we can just um, delete. And get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I think we've got some more at the top here. Okay, hmm, now I've got a wall of cubes. I'll start out with a cube and I stack the cubes. Now I have a wall of cubes. Boy, where else can we take this? Let's draw another guideline. So I'm gonna copy this. I'll bring it down here and I'll hit this line right here and we'll go out at 30 degrees. And let's see what we got. So now if I take this and I actually, yeah, that's going to create a mess on it. We'll see what happens. We're going to have to do a little bit of trimming, I think. Um, Put that there. Put that there. And we've got the makings of a Rubik's Cube, maybe. So we can go in here and we can start trimming away. Uh, get rid of that. Boom. Boom. I think you get the idea. So For our next assignment, we are gonna have fun with cubes. Enjoy. <laughs>